Well, hello everyone, happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's of it, which is on both series Black Six Ape and Professor Lupin's Classroom from 2004, of course. So in front of each box, you see that the Lego logo, Harry Potter logo, and also that blue border that all the sets from 2003 and 4 had, and update version of Harry for Prisoner of Azkaban. And see a picture of each set that there is, and also recommend age, age recommendation, set number, name, and the amount of pieces. And on the back of each one, then you see a couple other pictures of it with the features and the uh, websites, and also the Kind of clearish view of the Marauders map, of course, showing where it is in the map, of course. And that is it with the boxes. And now onto the booklets. On front of each booklet, same picture as on the front of the boxes and everything. On the back is you see the main trio looking over the Marauders map, in, of course. And you see when on the online survey and alternate build of the set and add for all of the Prisoner of Azkaban sets, of course. And then the main feature of it and the beat and the last building steps. And then other which. Alternate build, of course. First of all, for the mini figs, for uh, Lupin's classroom, of course. Is that, hang on. As we, of course, get Remus, Professor Lemus Lupin, of course, but before he became a werewolf, of course, and also get the update version of Neville Longbottom, and also Sirius Black, or Professor Snape, of course. But still having that odd glow with the dark head, but the torso print well updated for that, which kind of nice for it in the sand green color, of course, and also not much change for Neville Longbottom except for the uh, skin color to it. And although, not correct me if I'm wrong, but I think uh, Lupin's hairpiece might be the same as Gildroy Lockhart's, so of course, but. Also, no back torso print, and neither double side faces since they're older figures, of course. Other batch of figs include with Series Black's Escape. You get, of course, a Dementor, well, older style of it, which, of course, had the like skeleton torso piece and this special piece underneath that fits onto a single stud, of course which it did stick around for a long time, but at least till they finally updated it in the uh, 2018 Beyond versions. And we also, of course, get the Sirius Black in his uh, prisoner outfit, of course. And, of course, classic hair piece that he and uh, Luke Skywalker all had, of course. And Harry, of which, kind of the same as in some of the other sets in this wave, but as you see, the eyes of which, Kind of the same as from the uh, uh, Chamber Secrets waves, of course, and but also each of which had the pupil pupil effect in the eyes, which carries on to modern mini figs, of course, and each of which no back torso print or anything since they're older figures, of course. And so now on to with uh, Professor Lupin's classroom, of course. So the main build part of which kind of similar to that of as you see it 
kind of similar to a couple of sets in the uh, Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets lines, of course, but with the large and smaller large brick, of course. But although it's, and also a few jagged slopes on this top part, of course. Mainly just so it can work with the 2004 version of the of Hogwarts Castle, of course. Well, same with the Marauders map set, of course. And so now on to the different parts of it. As you see, do you have the like yellowish dish piece and also one of the book pieces, also from the earlier sets, of course. So, uh, hang on a sec. And well on the side is, of course, the do see common uh, skull there, and also a clear cylinder for a potion of some kind. And also on this rotating platform. Uh, hang on. Also, to get the clear blue tile piece like we've seen in the 2001 Hogwarts Express set and Gringotts Bank, of course. And we also do get the, the like a tan version of the common stair pieces going down here, and also gray spire web there, and also the like old time spider piece but in orange like if I get some extra light on there then yeah quite nice to have there like we see in the Marauders map set of course and further down there's another skull piece but held under the trans yellow dome and also get another unique tile which does have a chocolate bar bitten apart and whatnot kind of well suiting to this part in the film and also do get a regular brick or one by one brick in trans purple kind of neat uh, and another skull piece out there and a regular minifig headpiece in trans orange, quite nice, and also get to, uh, from the Knight's Kingdom castle lines are the like a uh, horse uh, top part piece or head armor pieces put up there, quite nice, uh, kind of nicely, probably acting as like dragon skulls and things, and also further above, do get. The common archway and also an archway made of just sand green jagged slopes, kind of interesting. And also, do get the like old time turnaround piece which has a sticker on it that is being of a wardrobe. But if turn around, and then there's Severus Snape, of course. I do kind of like these kinds of pe kind of piece features. Oh, also forgot to mention that when you turn this open, then there is, of course, that one uh, smallish tile piece like we've seen in Dobby's release, of course. And also on the side is the old school suitcase piece. So this set does act as a good parts pack for that. But yeah, and that is it with that one. And now onto the building part of series Black's Escape is that for the lower part of which, pretty much just the like larger cylinder pieces like we've seen a lot of times before, and also a few dark gray jagged slopes. So of course. And although from the back part, quite hollow space for that, but of course enough space to put your uh, your series black mini pig into a course, and also kind of a smallish table with a single cut piece on it, and also an, another cylinder with a flame on it, of course. 
windows and some kind of nice exterior builds with the jagged slopes in both tan and uh, sand green. And, and also have this little chimney part, which with that uh, other piece on it, of course. And this front part, which has enough space to display one or two mini things on. And while also, oh, forgot to mention this is also do get Buckbeak in this set and enough space to put him on it. And he, which just the same as from Draco's encounter with Buckbeak set, of course. But anyways, uh, also the front entrance is the like big large uh, archway piece with brick texture in it like we've seen in most castle sets of course and, and built kind of similarly to some of those and also do get plenty of the like classic uh, pirate parrots parrot pieces but in dark gray but we're just representing statues around it of course and if you like pull on this slope here and it can swing right open and as for this tier, you do get the old school or old rat piece in dark brown and also get to this little section of tables with that little piece there that has a sack with a spell on it, like we've seen in Dobby's release, of course. And also, we have a like cylinder piece with a gem on top of it. Me. One of the feet, it actually has two of those reveal features at once. Let it open the top part, and then there's two black key pieces. And if pull the whole thing forward, and nothing much at all. So just lean forward, and there's the keys. So, of course, for Harry to get the key and free a serious black horse. And so now, let me get these out and move on to the final verdict. These, I think, are pretty good, cool sets for the time. Like, of course, one of the only ways to get Remus Lupin, and, of course, updated version of Severus Snape, of course, and also only time of ever having Sirius Black in a set, of course. Well, at least until the uh, most recent uh, CMAP series, of course, and also getting Butt Beacon in another set, uh, which nice, and... These of which do also provide as good parts packs, like, and of course, there's this uh, Lupin's Classroom set, a quite good addition to the, the 2004 version of Hogwarts Castle, of course. There's, and once again, plenty of nice pieces in, uh, nice mocking pieces in that, of course, and, yeah. And also, the, uh, the mentor, kind of primitive for the time, but it still kind of works out. I, but also, I can forgive it on how it came around. Yeah. And also, both builds quite simple, but well effective, of course. But if Series Black's Escape ever gets a remake, well, I expect it to be quite a lot better, of course. And yeah. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up online. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.